Yeah. Here we go. This is what we get. <laughs> this is what we get, y'all. This is what we fucking get. You see the, the playlist they keep putting out for us? Now, on Call of Duty, Warzone, you only can play duels, rotation, or quads. What if you only want to play solo? What if you only want to play, you know, Resurgence? This is what we get right here, man. This is so fucking sad. But I'm going to let you know. You see the title? It says, we created this monster. You know how? Let me explain to you how. So, Call of Duty was good at first. Then they saw, you know, uh, Fortnite. Dropping all those little memes and people in there. And action figures and movie figures and cartoon figures. Making all that money. Call of Duty is like, man, you know what? Them niggas balling. Let us get some of that. So they started dropping one action figure. I was like, all right, cool. That's kind of cool. That's, that's cute. But then they started dropping bundle after bundle. And after bundle and after bundle. And started making all this money. But the game's still running like what? <laughs> Shit. Man. Soon as we saw that they started doing that. We should have started backing away from the game. Playing it less and less and less. But oh no. We Cowboys. I grew up playing this. You know what I'm saying? I've been playing this for 17 years. 17 years I've been playing this game. It's something about this game that got me hooked. It just got me by the balls. I'm telling y'all man. It's like that, that, that scene on Pookie. It was like, it keep calling me. It keep calling me. We need help, bro. I love this game, man. We got bad servers. We got packet bursts. We got cheaters running wild like roaches. When you turn on the goddamn lights. It's a shame, man. But guess what? We created this because we kept buying the game, hoping, okay, this next car is going to be good. This this next car is going to do 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 what we thought it's going to be and, 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 and be the original car. But it ain't. We just keep going back, back and back and back. Like that badass job that, you know, have you do a lot of fucking work and only paying you a little bit of wages. And it ain't even worth your time driving an hour to work in traffic. We should have stopped this shit a long time ago. The mom and the mom and pop gamers that come home after work that do play. Oh yeah, women do play this game. Trust me, they do. We are the ones that are having to deal with this all the time. Every fucking launch of a new game, guess what? The servers are fucking bad. Got bugs in it. Bed bugs. <laughs> we deal with this shit. And then every fucking new season, guess what? The game is fucked up. Either on console you can't do shit, or a PC you can't do shit, or you get in and the server's not working. The attachments you can't put on your fucking guns. Or somebody, there's an exploit that, that makes the uh, gun runs wild and become meta for a couple of weeks until they what decide to fucking fix it but i guess i, I tell you one thing i tell you one fucking thing that store that store ain't never been broke have you ever gone to the store and could not buy no no tokens i'll wait like cat williams say have you ever gone to the fucking store and saw that it never worked you could never purchase a bundle. You can always purchase a motherfucking bundle. That store ain't never broken. But the game is broken. Motherfuckers hiding in floors and walls under the maps. We started complaining about it. And guess what? What? Two weeks later? Three weeks later? They finally fixed the bug? They never fixed the cheaters. Motherfucking cheetahs all up in ranked. All up on the big map. Erkistan. All on resurgence. 
all in multiplayer. It's fucking horrible. But we did this because we keep buying fucking bundles. We keep buying the fucking game. I'm part of it too. I'm guilty. Guilty as charged. But I don't buy fucking bundles. I haven't bought a bundle since 2019. Since I saw the bullshit that they was doing. They just want money. And then these kids, they got their little jobs after they get out of school. They'd rather it's mowing lawns, taking out somebody garbage, or, you know, helping an old person across the street and getting their money. And guess what they do? They come and buy the bundle. But guess what? It's more older people that grew up with God that still play this shit that can make a difference. We can make a fucking difference. All we gotta do for one day, for a weekend, a Saturday and Sunday, we can fucking not play the fucking game. And guess what? Them motherfuckers gonna be like, oh shit, our numbers gonna went way, way down. And guess what they gonna do? They gonna fix this motherfucker. But we already at the end of Modern Warfare 3, beginning of BO6. And guess what? All they did was added Omni movement. That's the only fucking thing. They haven't gotten rid of no cheaters. They haven't fixed no servers. They, they run it on old ass servers. It's the, that's what it is. All that money from the bundles that these mugs buying. Buy some new servers. Build a new server. Because when I play Apex, even though it has some problems, because they built their server from the ground, so I understand why they have issues with the, the tick rate. But build some new servers. I, when I play Apex, like I said, I, there's no problem with the shooting. There's no problem with the movement. You know what I'm saying? There's still a, a little cheaters in there. But you know what? Compared to Call of Duty, it's a grain of salt. <laughs> tell you that. I tell you that. Apex don't have this problem. They got cheap problems. Yeah, but it ain't as, as, as bad as here. Fortnite don't have any problem. I don't understand. How can a kid's game... Well, it's not a kid's game, but I see it as a kid's game because of the characters that they fucking put in there. I see it as a kid's game. My kids ask me to play, so I play with them. But this this a man's game. This is Call of Duty. You know what I'm saying? This is called a fucking duty. They sitting around here taking all our fucking money. And guess what? We come back and have busted servers. Cheaters running wild. They don't even answer us. And, and, and uh, X Defiant, guess what? Guess what they do? They sitting right there on, on Twitter, a.k.a. X. And guess what they do? They tell us exactly what the fuck is going on. Hey, I saw y'all posted that there's a cheater in here. Guess what? Here's the video. We got rid of him. Or, oh, y'all said that this gun is broken. and Or there's an exploit that you can go under the map. We got it. We own it. They communicate with us. Does Activision communicate with us? Hell no. You know what they do? They hear about a bunch of complaints and they'll put out another fucking bundle and say, oh, let's put out a bundle that they like and that's gonna, they gonna, not gonna think about it. <laughs> that's what they do. It's like a, a kid that's crying at home and you don't really want to be bothered because you got some shit to do, or some work to do from the, uh, from the office. Guess what you do? You get that kid what he want. You give him some candy and he won't even think about whatever problem he was crying about. That's how they treat us, like fucking kids. They treat us like fucking kids. But guess what? The mom and pop gamers, they come home from work, they see a bundle. You know what, that shit, I got a little extra change. Let me go ahead and spend $35 on this bundle. Or $24 on this bundle. And if you got 100000 and I'm doing that, guess what? They, they made their money. They made their quota for the week. They made they they shareholders, the stockholders, happy. Yeah, they did. But guess what? Right after you buy that bundle and you get in that game, it's a motherfucking cheater in your lobby. And you can't even see your bundle. So nobody can even see you. You know what I'm saying? Because that killer keep killing you. Cheater. 
That's what it is. Or, or, or after you buy that bundle, guess what? Guess what happens? The servers don't work. You keep lagging through the whole map. And you playing the game and hoping, okay, next game, it, 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 it's going gonna, it's gonna to get better. But guess what? Next game, it takes about five, six minutes before it to even start. <laughs> you got to keep bagging out or closing your game out and come back in in order for you to get a game. So now you've been on the game for maybe, mm, what, 35, 45 minutes. Mm. So you get back on, you get in there, and you want to hook up with your buddies. And guess what? Your buddies get into your lobby with you, and the mics don't work. You can't communicate with them. You got to go get on Discord just to communicate with your people. That's a damn shame. You got to use another application in order to talk to your homies. Wow. And this is what we deal with. And we continue to buy the bun. I tell y'all, I'm not. I know a lot of people are not gonna see this video, but the ones that do see, I hope you appreciate what I'm saying. That if you don't play this game for one fucking weekend, you will send a message to Activision that we're not fit to do deal with your shit no more. You opened up the window and you threw all that trash out and you're not fit to deal with it i'm trying to tell everybody but you know what you got these mugs like i said that come home from work every day they want to play the game and buy it the bundles and here we go they got you they got you it, it, it i don't know what to say i don't know what to do but yeah i do know what to do i, I left the game for about a month and came back you know just to play with my son. I won't buy a bundle. I damn sure won't do that shit. I will never buy a bundle ever. Until they show me. You know what I did? I, when X Defiant first came out. I spent about 50 bucks on that game. You know what I'm saying? Because they're sitting there communicating with me. And trying to tell me. Hey. We appreciate you playing our game. And we appreciate you buying stuff in there. We fixing this shit. We, get, we trying to get it right. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate somebody like that. But we don't have Activision on our side like that. People, we don't. They look up that look at us as just nothing. We're trash. We're money. That's all we are. They won't fucking fix the game because we keep supporting them. Yeah, I buy the game. Yeah, but that's the initial. So when you buy when you buy the game and everybody buys the game, you're not supporting them. In a way you are, but the money that you they get that they get from when the initial launch is paying for the programmers, the developers and all that kind of shit for the game. But then after that, the bundles that they put out, that's their profit. That's their fucking profit. And when the shareholders see the hey, uh, your numbers down on this game. What, what what's really going on? They gonna get on their ass, or they gonna sell their shares, and the shares gonna go down. And guess what? They gonna stop giving them money for the game. We 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 built this monster. We need to stop it. I'm telling y'all, we do. Stop buying the fucking bundles. I said my piece, and I appreciate everybody coming through, man. And uh. Hopefully you guys got the message. It's your boy Lock and Load Gaming. Make sure you hit the like button. We out of here. Peace.